This is Travis of Elston Equine Solutions down here at the Clopton Cow Company, and uh, we're in a drought, hoping that the monsoons are come in. And so I'm kind of seeking some shade, hiding out in uh, the saddle house, and I figured uh, I'd work on some projects real quick and share it with you. Uh, if you watched the last video, I was talking about fixing my set of range here, and I did fix them. And if you remember right, the reason they got broke because they got caught in uh, some brush and they kind of ripped apart. And that's simple fact of life because you're down in Arizona in Mesquite country. A lot of people ride with uh, split reins and going through that tough country, and that's a smart move. I just like the feel of uh, having some reins and then having my popper right here, my quarter on top of my raw mail. Okay, my raw mail here, poor man's version connected to the reins. Okay. And I like doing that. And so what I'm gonna do is uh, put a breakaway down below so it doesn't happen again, because I'll be able to control my horse, you know, with my legs. And then uh, also I could cheek them over, grab them if I have to do a, do a stop, all right? So there's two ways I could do it. I could put a, a water connector here, and I have a video showing this, uh, how to tie this on. And basically all it is is this piece would go to a bit, and this piece right here would be tied into the end of the reins. And if anything broke, this would come apart. All right, so that's one way. Uh, because this is the poor man's set of uh, reins for the raw mill uh, at the end, I'm going to put a, a rain connector on this. And I'm going to do it nice and easy, please, you like. So basically what I have is just a 12-inch strip of uh, leather. And I think this is a quarter-inch leather. Yes, it is. And what I'm going to do is find the center, the six inch mark, the halfway point, and I'm going to puncture it. And then I'm just going to put this uh, little stud ball into it. Okay. I'm going to mark here real quick, six inches. And this is just one way of getting the job done. There's a lot of rain connectors out there, but I like to recycle a lot of material. Because I have a lot of material, cowboys don't throw anything away. So we always recycle stuff and reuse it. And that's what I'm doing here. So, because I don't got time to run off the ranch, which is a long ways away, go to town. I don't got time to wait for a UPS truck or Amazon truck to come in. So we're down here making our own stuff. All right, so I found dead center. Puncture a hole through with, uh, if you remember right from the last video, using a marlin spike. Some countries call them a fid. Okay, that's a big enough hole that I like right there. Now all I'm going to do is insert the screw backing and make sure it goes all the way through my piece of leather. I might have to make the hole a little bit bigger. But that's why we're checking it out. Savvy? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go from this side this time. Beautiful. Now what I'm gonna do on the smooth side of the leather, not the flesh side, I am going to go ahead and insert it again. And it's, these studs uh, ends are built kind of like uh, Chicago screws pretty much essentially what they are. So I'm just gonna screw it through the leather because I know I got a tight fitting now. Which actually works a lot better for me instead of being sloppy. And you can see that I have a little bit of thread popping out of there. And it'll be more once I get this piece on, which is the ball portion of it. <clears throat> I'm gonna grab a uh, they're just like Chicago screws all the time, always come down when you need them. And they fall apart on you, and I'm just going to put some temporary Loctite on it. There we go, Put the tip off of that. Put some around the threads here. 
put the lid back on my fabulous Loctite and we're going to have screw this portion back on to and I'm going to screw it down really good high and tight I might grab a set of pliers here if I have some yes I do some needle nose I'm going to lock it down in place Now I didn't vet this type of a setup, but it is a good way of getting the job done, okay? All right, so this is where we're at so far. Right dead center, we have the steel uh, stud and the screw application on the back. Now, now what I'm gonna do is find the center of this and I'm just gonna punch a hole so I can get the threads to go right through this connector. Okay, now once I get the hole punched, what I'm going to do is take the ring of my reins and put it on here. It doesn't matter if you have this side on the rain chains of the bit or into the bit holes or just on your reins. I'm choosing to do with this uh, poor man set of Rommel reins is uh, put on the end of my caps here. Okay, so I don't want to get confused on that. And we'll show you this here in a second. I'm going to shut my mouth now and get to work. Yeah, we're getting there now. Okay. Now I'm going to lay it, put some uh, handy dandy thread lock onto the threads of the screw. Put my handy dandy lid back on. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the leather and put it right over top of the threads. Okay, now I don't got enough leather popping out, so I'm going to make it a little bit thinner around the hole, which is no problem. I'm going to grab my skiver. There it is. There it is. So I'm going to grab this tool, make the leather a little bit thinner. Okay, place it right in. Okay, make sure I get to my threads. My threads are popping through now. Uh, still not enough to suit my taste. What I'm gonna do is take this leather, I'm gonna unscrew it and make it a little bit thinner right in the center of of my leather, which is no big deal because that's what this is for, is to, for it to come apart so it doesn't ruin my reins. So we're just trying to work smarter, not harder, as they say, and then we'll get her done. This be no problem. Okay, you can see I'm just, it's just this piece of tool right here. I think it's called a, a, a skiver, and I'm drawing it towards me. A lot of times I like to draw it away from me but I got a safety guard right here, so I'm not too concerned. Then I'm going to cut into me and hurt myself. Because Travis does a lot of stupid stuff, like most cowboys. And so I got to be careful. Now I hurt myself more. Okay, now I got the little bit thinner right there. Got thinner there. Going ahead and go ahead and take my screw. Screw it right in to the middle section of the leather. While applying pressure. There we go. OK. 
Okay. Like that. Now I'm gonna put my rain right through, close it down, take my end, go right through the thread. Now I have enough of a stud hanging out right here through the leather of the rain connector where I can connect the stud. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Loctite, place it around the threads, good to go, put my cap back on, and go ahead and take my ball bearing stud and go ahead and screw it down on my rain connector. I'm gonna screw it down really good. That way I can get it clamped down really nice and neat onto the leather and not worry about it coming off the anchor point, which is right here. So we got a little bit of close up here. There you go. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Cook on Crisco now. Oh yeah, it's coming down pretty good. All right. So we're done with this portion. You can see the screw portion on the back. Uh, the flat tip screwdriver and we got the stud right there. Now what we're going to do is make a slit so we can go ahead and pop this stud up through it. And that's real easy to do. All we have to do is take uh, either a box cutter knife to make a slit or extractor knife to make a slit or we can simply grab a different tool. I might try this punch. So I'm going to find the end where I want it. I kind of like that. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp it. Punch it right through it. And I got my hole here. I can push my stud through. Okay, so it wasn't big enough yet, but pretty close. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I like that as an initial hole. And then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and use my box cutter and just make a small slit right in the dead center. Same thing on the other side. Flip it over, do the same thing, make sure it got in there. Same thing on the other south side of the hole. Make it slit, so make sure it went through. Okay, so if you can see, all I've done is put a slit right here, just north and south of the hole that I punched. Now we're gonna try to see if the stud will go through the hole. And yes, it does. Goes through perfectly. I'm yanking up, pulling on, and nothing's happening. So, as you can see, I have a rain connector finished, the first one. And the reason I went with 12 inches on this because these reins were a little short for the horse I'm going to be putting it on. And I'm not going to use a, a spade bit with this set of reins, but I will use the Western style bit with this range and I do like uh, using this because I do use this to slap against my leg. I do use it to, to work with animals. You see I got a little bit of hair stuck in there from a critter. And so I do like these uh, a lot. And so this will give me enough, ex enough extension, okay? So I'll be using this on a leverage bit, not a signal bit, but a leverage bit. And I just wanted to show you a different way of making the rain connector. Now, you can use this rain connector on a set of traditional raw mail with a set of reins, okay? Uh, with a spade bit. That's what this is designed for, ladies and gentlemen. So I just wanted to leave that knowledge with you as a way to get it done. And uh, while you're doing it, please hit like, please hit subscribe. Folks, so uh, here we are with uh, the rain connectors attached. You can see they're right here. 
and connect to the rain chain all the way up to uh, this bit and it's working pretty good and remember the whole reason we made it is so we can go ahead and this will pop right off if the closed reins on the Romel set that I worked on ever gets snagged okay now obviously this is a poor man set of reins this is actually a leverage bit it's not a spade bit but it's got the same mechanics for the most part on the side here with the wheel that's the counter wheel for balance it is a beautiful bit in there i'll take a picture of it later but I just mainly wanted to talk about this piece right here and you can see in action beautiful stuff good deal because now that you watch this channel and specifically this episode you now became a solution take care now until next time adios